What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of Shimanjay. Today I want to run down a few reasons why I think you should probably consider the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The first thing is the design. Now, this design of this device has become something that is just, when you see it, you know what it is. However, what Samsung did this time was they flattened everything off. The back is completely flat. The sides are even a little bit more boxy and they have a more, this is titanium, so they have a, a brushed look to it. And it's just a little bit more sleek and, and more refined uh, than the previous generations. And it actually feels better in the hand as well because of the flatter sides and how they've kind of boxed it off a little bit more on the edges. It just feels really good. They've also boxed off the S Pen as well and kind of flattened it out to give it a more uniform look with the device. But more importantly, they gave it a flat display. And this is something that either you like it or you don't like it, but the overall design of this device is an improvement over the previous generations. I'm actually recording with the S23 Ultra, so take note of that. But this is a better feeling device in the hand than the S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra, which I've had all of the Ultras since they've been making them. And I think this flat display and then the flat back and the titanium size on here with the brush look and the not the stainless steel, this hardware and design is absolutely beautiful. And I don't think you'll be disappointed once you decide to pick this device up. And this video is for people who will want the larger device that Samsung offers. Obviously, I have the S24 Plus. I will give you another video on that as well. But if you're in the market for the Ultra and you're deciding on some reasons why you shouldn't get it or why you should get it, this video will kind of help you out and give you some kind of foundation on why I think you probably should consider it. And the hardware alone, if you're looking at a device like this, you're wanting a big display. And outside of the hardware is going to be this beautiful display. It is beautiful. So this is at about... 35 to 40% brightness, and you can see that the display is just something that Samsung gets right all the time. Everyone uses Samsung displays, but on Samsung phones, something about it, they just, they just do a great job, and I think you cannot miss with the S24 Ultra's display. It is an absolute beautiful display. It is walking all over tons of other displays out there when it comes to media consumption. This is just a video I shot and on, on my a car channel, and I'm just showing you how well the S24 Ultra handles an HDR video like this. It is absolutely stunning. And if I go in and I raise the brightness even more, you really get some sense of how it pops. I mean, over video, it probably won't do it that, just, that much justice, but I'm telling you from experience and having this in hand, using it, it is a beautiful display and you just can't go wrong. Now, speaking of you know, shooting content and things like that. That is another area where the S24 Ultra really shines above the competition because you have so many options within the camera app. It's just mind blowing. So you have your basics here. You have your basics, basics like portrait video, portrait photo, uh, regular photo, regular video, which goes all the way up to a mind blowing 8K at 30 frames per second. I still need to give you a sample of 8K, but a lot of people can't watch 8K yet. So uh, the most you can get is a very crisp, clear 4K turned down, toned down version in 8K when you watch it on your monitor. So, but it has all the options there. And aside from that, you've got uh, Expert Raw, Pro, Pro Video, and the Pro is for photos. And you've got Pro Video, Night Shots, Food, uh, Food Photos, Panorama, Slow Motion, Hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is something that I haven't used in quite so quite some time. I don't know why. Just it's just not something that I regularly use. But portrait video is where I live. I live for doing portrait videos. I just love doing portrait videos when I'm doing a vlog. And it's just the best way to shoot, especially outside. The footage is going to look phenomenal. And then you have your dual record and then single take. So the camera app is loaded and just fully loaded with options when it comes to taking video and doing photos. Portrait shots on the Samsung Galaxy S24 lineup is just better. It takes much better portrait shots, but the advantage Samsung has is the all the different filters that you can do uh, here when you're doing portrait shots. Color paint has probably got to be one of the most popular ones, I think, when you're doing portrait uh, shots. Uh, but doing a regular blur shot, you are winning when you're using this, this, this camera setup. It is just a great set of cameras on here. And furthermore, before I get out of here, the question asked, someone asked me, what, what, what do I use on my phones? I typically would do a 50 megapixel shot 
if I really want to get a very good photo, uh, I mean, very good photo, I mean, for, for later on to print, yeah, a 50 megapixel shot is going to be great for when you zoom in. And then you also have the option of a 200 megapixel photo. Now, there is no zooming or anything like that at 200 megapixel or, or 50 megapixel. You can do one tap on the 50 megapixel, but you cannot zoom or anything on the 200 megapixel. And why would you want to do so? Because you're pretty much taking one of the best photos you could possibly take on a device. So. The cameras on here is going to give you great quality. Now, let me show you some photos that I've taken with this, this set of cameras and video. Now, here's some photos that I stood outside and just took photos of the car, uh, just standing outside in the regular sunlight. These photos come out phenomenal, man. And I'll show you some different photos, too. I just wanted to pause the video and so I can go past all the photos you don't want to see. Uh, but here's some some a video I did of just when I was at a car car meet. Just a quick video of the car. And then here's a, a photo I took at the car meet in really bright conditions. Here's a video I did while walking to show the stabilization. This, these cameras are just absolutely phenomenal. They are great. And you will not have a problem with the way this footage comes out. I mean, this is just phenomenal footage coming from these cameras on this device. This is just great, man. There is no getting around it. Samsung has done a phenomenal job and I use a Samsung phone now almost full time to record on my channel, even though I have a Sony a6100 right here that I just don't use very much anymore. Uh, but that just goes to show, do you really need a, um, a camera uh, for your channel? And, and you probably don't. So here's some photos I took just Beautiful night photos, man. This is just incredible. Nonetheless, I won't beat that horse up. The cameras on here, well worth it. You're going to love it. And it is another reason why you should consider it. Now, another reason why you should consider this device is the performance. You do get what's called the S Pen Suite. This is what separates Samsung devices from a lot of other devices out there. Being able to use this device right here, this little S Pen that stores away in the, in the device itself, can control this device. When I'm using this device, I use it for family photos. Um, I use it for taking video from a distance, start and stop, uh, just anything you can think of to control the device as far as the cameras go, this pin can do it. And then also you have all these options here in this suite. So if I go into add, You'll see here what you can actually do. You can add more things to this side module over here where the S Pen comes out. You can pretty much add anything in your phone to this side over here, pretty much. And aside from the S Pen suite, fast finger per reader, you get all of this right here in the software as well. The performance on this device is absolutely great. I can't stress enough how it performs. Now, most people are just going to do this on the devices. Just going to open up, <laughs> they're going to open up their, um, their phone and go to social media. This is what they're going to do. They're going to just rotate between all these ones that they do for social media. And this is how they're going to live, but they're just doing it on a much bigger, um, a bigger screen and a bigger, uh, setup here. And you're getting more in view. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. But social media is where we live. We're living a social media age right now. And why not do it on one of the best phones in the game? Now, aside from the hardware, the styling, the beautiful display, the cameras, the performance, the last thing I want to talk about is the battery life. Battery life on this thing should take you down the road for at least a day and a half minimum. You should be able to get at least a day and a half out of this ginormous battery in here. But I'm hoping that Samsung does more next time for the battery because this device isn't thin, but it isn't thick. Uh, and so they definitely can fit more in here, more than likely. So it's your man, Jay. Battery life on this thing is great. I don't think you'll have a problem with it. And I just want to give a quick video and show this to the people who are out there who are considering the S24 Ultra over the other devices out there and then also over the S24 Plus, and I will be following up with a video on this device as well, because this is my other daily driver, uh, letting you know why you should probably consider that device as well. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.